Collect my thoughts, my mind moves at warp speed I often talk to myself about greed Why I smoke so much weed and indeed I love my freedom like my unborn seed Normally out of your league I bond like Sean Connery Honor me with knowledge Pure harmony Guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. This is going to be my spring starting lineup video for 2016. You guys know how I like to do these. I like to do them um, in the middle of the season, so it's early enough um, that if there's something you like, um, you can cop it, but it's late enough so that um, you get a real feel for what I've actually been wearing. And it's been a cold spring so far in New York City, so I've tried to balance some lighter um, and greener scents with some some um, some ones that you could wear when it's a little bit colder out, and try to wear some of the newer stuff in my collection. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, my signature scent so far this spring, and you can see I've actually. Um, Worn a great deal of this is the newest from the House of Imaginary Authors. This one is called Every Storm a Serenade. Um, when I initially did the collaboration video uh, where I reviewed this, you know, I sort of said that I didn't like it because I felt like it wasn't the kind of imaginary author scent that I was used to. It wasn't daring enough for me, and I actually still kind of feel that way, but it's very we wearable. Um, I love the green in this. I love the sea mist, the spruce, the eucalyptus, the vetiver. It's got a very nice sort of ocean oceanic bite to it, um, but it's not your typical aquatic. It's sort of a way more green marine um, fragrance with a little bit of spice and certainly a, a touch of that imaginary author's twist. So I think this is a nice one. Uh, for springtime, and I think you could rock this one in summer as well. So my signature scent, um, Every Storm Serenade by Imaginary Authors. My um, work scent, this is a great work scent for the spring guys. Some people like this one, some people hate it. I really like it. To me, it reminds me a lot of the original Polo Green. Um, if you took the original Polo Green and you added some mint to it at the top, I think you'd get this, and this is a really clean, crisp scent, perfect for a suit, perfect for work, perfect for spring. It could work for summer as well, but I think it was really made for the spring um, from one of my favorite Italian houses that just screams class and seems to do everything with quality. Uh, from Aqua to Parma, this is one of their newer releases. This is Colonia Club, and I don't know if you guys heard, they're actually adding to their um, Ascenza collection, you know, they did a Oud. Um, an amber, um, and what's the other one they did? A leather, they're gonna be doing a sandalwood one, which I'm super excited about. I tried their newest from the blue line, uh, the cedar one, I didn't really like that one, um, but I, I think this is a perfect one uh, for work in the spring. Next one out is my night out one. You guys know I'm not huge on, on nights out, but man, um, I did a scent safari on the house of Henley and I really liked it, and Hans was nice enough to send me for Christmas a um, 15 ml of one of the fragrances I really loved. This one is called Jade, and this is perfect, perfect for for the springtime. This one has some um, geranium in it. Um, it's got some uh, mint in there as well, some star anise, and some benzoin um, in the base, so it's green. You guys know I love my green scent. You can see that so far. It reminds me a little bit. Um, of Absinthe by Nasamato, if you threw some geranium in there. Really, really crisp, uh, really bracing. And again, another one just perfect for, for the spring, and I think perfect for a spring night out. So that's Henley by Jade. Then I've got my romantic scent uh, so far for this spring, and this is another one that, man, I got this a um, couple months ago, or six, five, probably four or five months ago. Never looked back. Uh, I love this house. Um, definitely going to be getting their newer release, Sunshine Man, which is a beautiful lavender scent that I think could also work perfectly um, in the spring. This one is sort of more about pimento and rose de mai um, and some rosemary. It's herbal, but there's a vanillic undertone to it. It's sweet. Um, it gets some comparisons to Le Mal, uh, which I could see, but to me it's its own beast. Uh, it's super refined. The bottle is beautiful. I think it's a, a, a scent by Amouage that uh, has some serious universal appeal um, because it's not relying on that silver frankincense note, which I know everyone might not love, but uh, Man Reflection Man is just a beautiful, 
beautiful scent. I think it's a great scent uh, to wear out on a date or any sort of romantic encounter. I think it will do really well for you in those situations, excuse me. Then I have my black tie and you know, I've been critical of Montal. Um, you guys know that. I think this is a Montal scent that I just love. It's got oud, obviously, um, but not everyone has oud. I actually obviously own Intense Cafe as well and that does not, um, that one doesn't have oud. And there are some other ones, some nice ones um, that don't have oud. I think their better ones do have oud. Um, I think red oud is probably their their best scent that I've smelled. Certainly I like black musk as well. I like wild pears. There's a few I like. I'd like to try Oud Lagoon and Tropical Wood, which are their latest. But this one has saffron, it has leather, it has Oud, it's spicy. It's got just the right balance of, of spice, Oud, and leather. This one is relatively recent. Uh, it's not one of their OG fragrances. and It's not one of their super new ones. It's called Nepal Oud, and I think it's just perfect. Uh, to dress up in the springtime. It's not too overbearing that oud. And then for my daring scent this spring, um, and this definitely isn't daring. I think it's just daring because it gets a little bit of hate. Um, I really like it. I think the mix of almond and tonka in this one um, and some bitter orange is just really good. I think this has the Guerlain quality. I think the bottle's a work of art. I think Guerlain did a really good job with this one. Um, not too anxious to try the cologne, but I would like to try the Oud Parfum, which I think was just released in Europe. You guys, I'm sure, already know what this one is from the House of Guerlain. My daring scent is L'Homme Idel, and it's ob obviously not a daring fragrance, but I think it's a little bit daring for me um, in terms of, uh, you know, I guess it being a little, a little bit generic and, and nothing too crazy. So guys, those are my picks for, for this spring. Um, you know, let me know what yours are. And I'll be back later this week with a review um, and a hopefully barbershop, the barbershop tag video um, that I was tagged by, by Rye Frags. And I'll see you guys again real soon. My name is Maximilian. I must know. I be catching the Holy Ghost over and over until you start sobering up. Shine solar, spread Ebola, cross tracks, computer viruses, eating the wax. Send the facts to you verbally. Snap your whole vertebrae. My wordplay is exquisite.